Hey guys, it's Gordon Fastnet with Fungi. Been out here today on the Mendocino coast and we found an absolutely amazing selection of mushrooms. The, the real reason we were out here was the King Bolites. It's Porcini, this is Boletus edulis. It's mycorrhizal with the Bishop Pines. Great mushroom, super excited we found a bunch of these. We got some super prime ones, but we found a bunch of other really cool things. Uh, I found a lot of these apple Boletes or Lexinum manzanite. And these are pretty darn good edibles. They're mycorrhizal with the, with the madrone and with the manzanita. And they have these very distinctive uh, scabers on the stalk, which these king bullets don't have. So you can see that these are fairly different looking mushrooms, and that's because they belong to different genre of mushrooms. There is another mushroom you'll find when you're out looking for king bullets. It looks more similar, but it looks a little different. And this is what's known as the queen bully. So this is Boletus reginus. Um, and this has whiter pores. These pores will darken over time. These pores will get more yellow, whereas the King Bolete pores will get sort of more brownish red. And the caps are different colors. So this cap is very sort of lightish brown. And this, this is a darker, sort of deeper luster. And it, right now it has sort of a white patina on it as well. And these are both great edible mushrooms. I actually like the Queen Bolete a little bit better. So, you know, yas, queen. But this has, has slightly better texture. And, uh, and I find King Bolete's can be a little bitter. So I really like these queens. I'm excited I found these. We also found, we found some cool Lexinum that I don't know if these are the same, because these look pretty different, right? This is a lot darker, has much darker scabers. And this is, this is a, the apple bully with a red top and less scabers. So I'm not totally sure what this is, but we collected a couple. I'm gonna see how they taste. Uh, I've also got some zero camellus bullets. So sometimes these are known as, uh, uh, Zeller's boletes, but these are zero camellus is the, the genre, and they have these sort of velvety tops and reddish stems with yellow pores. These can be pretty good when you dry them out. Um, they can be good too if you eat them fresh. The texture's not quite as good as like a king bolete. Uh, I've got this really interesting uh, Cortinarius, which is very, very solid. Uh, I don't know what the heck this thing is, but I have a feeling my friend knows, and so I, I grabbed one because I want to I wanna check it out. Uh, I've also got, this is a first for me, I found club fungi before, but I've never found anything this big. These are like forest fingers just sticking up out of the ground. Um, complete digits. This is a thumb. This is clearly a forefinger. I'm just missing, you know, another couple. Um, but I've heard that these are edible, so I'm excited to try them. Um, there wasn't a ton of chanterelles out there, but we got a couple of good ones. This is Cantharellus formosus, most likely. Um, so this is the Pacific Golden Chanterelle. And you can see here you've got decurrent gills that run down the stipe, and they're really more like ridges than true gills. Um, but these are, are very solid, very fleshy mushrooms. Uh, the flesh is initially white, but stains kind of yellowish over time. Um, we'll see more of these as the, as the season goes on, but we had a couple other mushrooms here. Uh, this was a Romaria ariaspora, this beautiful red coral. This is a pretty good edible. Um, we just got a few more beautiful boletes, some really, really gorgeous kings, some nice apple boletes, and uh, oh, got a couple of Amita muscaria too. Uh, I keep collecting these and drying them out because they're they're kind of fun to use as holiday decorations, uh, and I you know I can't resist because they're just so beautiful and red. Um, they make fantastic edibles too if you boil them twice, but be careful because they can make you quite sick if you don't do it right. So I've eaten the stems. I haven't had the the desire to eat the caps yet, but I've heard that the caps actually taste better than the stems too. So maybe maybe I'll boil a couple of these. Um, you want to boil it twice in salted water for about ten minutes. And, uh, and then they can turn into pretty good edibles. So anyhow, pan out and see this beautiful selection of mushrooms. It's been a hell of a day, and uh, I'm glad I get to share this with you guys. So cheers to all these beautiful, beautiful mushrooms.